All right, getting back to weather here this morning. We've been talking about how dry it has been uh, here uh, lately, but we do have some rain chances in the forecast. So let's get over to meteorologist Marty Ruiz to get a, give us an update on the drought and how much rain we could see this week. And is this going to help us help us out as far as the drought is concerned? Absolutely, it is, Greg. And, and I know you'll talk about the amounts of rain uh, later on, but I wanted to show you the drought monitor and its progression over the summer. This is a snapshot of what it looked like on June 1st. And look at how it just got worse progressively over the summer. Fourth driest summer on record, by the way. This is the latest update as of Thursday. Now we have several areas, not just in a moderate drought, but anywhere from severe drought, which is this orange that you see there. That first shade of red that you see that is extreme drought. Extreme drought has expanded now to include portions of Wise, Parker County, Olive Tarrant, portions of Denton, most of Dallas County, Ellis, Johnson County towards the south. But the worst of the drought by far in the state is the exceptional drought that is just taking over portions of central Texas towards the southeast. Now, this is the difference between the two severe drought. That's when the soil gets hardened. We have high wildfire danger. Burn bans are in place. We definitely saw that over the summer. Extreme drought, large soil cracks, lower yield crops, livestock needs supplements, increased risk for wildfires. I mean, we saw that here towards the end of those summer months, and of course that causes all financial stress. Uh, luckily, Greg does have that rain in the forecast, but another look at the numbers here. So far this month, we have picked up just underneath a quarter of an inch of rainfall, and now we're settling into our, the best opportunity for rain that we've seen in quite some time. Over the summer, we were at a deficit of rain just over six inches. This year, we've only picked up over 15 inches of rain, uh, which does bring us to about 10 and a half inches below what's considered normal. Uh, this is even leading into September. So like I mentioned earlier, it was the fourth driest summer on record. That's what led to that progression. And of course, this rain this week at times on the roads, yeah, it's going to be a headache, but it is desperately needed. And of course, Greg has a look at that timeline coming up in a few moments. Kara.